Okay, cell phones are basically inescapable in our lives nowadays, and for teenagers, it can instantly connect them with family, friends, and social media. But some say frequent use of those devices present distractions and impact mental health. The kids are moving faster in this area of expertise and the adults. Superintendent Mike Robinson with the East Pennsboro Area School District says it can be distracting during the school day for students to have access to so many people and so much content at their fingertips. So we need to provide access for the kids, but, but also opportunities to, to grow as a learner in the classroom. And I think that's a heavy burden for teachers to try to regulate. A recently announced bill would require public schools to use secure locking bags to limit students' cell phone use. A second bill would create a pilot program with state funding to purchase the bags. The effectiveness of the program would be tracked through data on mental health, bullying or self-harm, and academic performance. If we expect to move the needle on academic performance, ensuring that young people can read and, and do math, um, we have to address we have to address this issue and the change in learning that has that has uh, resulted from <clears throat> the widespread smartphone usage and, and social media access. But others see cell phones in classrooms as a teaching opportunity. It can be used as a tool. Steeled in High Spire School Superintendent Mick Iskrick says the reality is that cell phone technology is here to stay. For the high school, the students have them. You know, we're teaching them to be young adults, so we want to make sure that they understand the expectations and, and that they follow them. Senator Allman says both bills are still being drafted, but the idea is to see whether lawmakers have an appetite for a statewide program or to test with the pilot first. Tom Lehman, WGAL News 8.